Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to look at 10 great stretches for runners. Make you aware this isn't the usual kind of routine sequence I've put together. We're looking at the 10 stretches to kind of give you ideas for your own stretch after your own run. If you do want a routine, well at the end of this video I'll have the link to the full routine that I have made. Butterfly stretch, a brilliant hip opener. It will feel pretty deep. Lay on your back, soles of your feet together. You want to hold onto feet and gently pull the legs towards upper body. Leg and hip open. You hold 30 seconds to two minutes. knee to chest, a very simple way of adding range of movement to our hip. I have my left leg flat into my mat, my right leg is bent, I hold onto my right knee with both hands and I gently bring that right knee towards me. Can you hold for some time and then of course you then have to do the other leg. Now, a brilliant yet simple hamstring stretch. We lie on our back, left leg flat into the mat. Point that right leg up and do try to keep it fairly straight. Hold on to the back of the right leg, but not behind the knee, around the hamstring. With time, as you keep breathing kind of long and calm, you're gradually pulling that right leg towards you. When you come out of these ones, make sure you slowly let go and ease the leg down. You then do the other leg. Very deep stretch now for our right glute, the right bum cheek muscle, then figure four stretch. Both legs bent, you cross your right leg over the left leg. Try and make a right angle kind of shape with that right leg. Hold on to the back of the left leg with both hands, or you could try hold on to the left knee. Either grip, you're pulling the legs towards you, making that right glute stretch out. And of course, you then do the other leg. Quad stretch. I prefer doing these lying on the side, that way then it's non-weight bearing. We don't have to kind of worry about balance at the same time. Lie on right side, and you want to hold on to the back of that left leg, either kind of behind the shin, maybe around the ankle or that left foot, and you begin pulling that left leg back. It will stretch in the front of the leg, quad, and it will help open up in the hip, stretching out the hip flexor. I find that works best when actually my knee is higher up than my hip. Many pictures and videos I watch, the knee is normally in line to the hip, but just to me, it works better when my knee is higher than my hip. I'd say there then, you play and find what works better to you. Forward, bend, seated, forward bend. Legs point out in front, try and keep those legs fairly straight and you'd carefully begin reaching forward towards your feet, gaining that deep stretch in the back of both legs then at the same time. But if you do, don't rock forward and back, you wanna hold that steady here as well, roughly 30 seconds to two minutes, you wanna hold. Downward dog, great for stretching out the calf muscles. We can do that either pushing both heels down at the same time then, or we can walk one heel down at a time, kind of focus on one calf muscle at a time. Just don't make the mistake by kind of watching classes, people do that one too fast. Take your time walking the heels down. Pivot, 
Pigeon Pose. A whopping big stretch in your right glute. That right leg coming forward, bent roughly in a 45 degree angle. Make sure that right knee will land to the right edge of your mat. Left leg gently put it back low and straight. When you then feel ready, begin to lean forward towards your mat. If you do ever find that too hard, go back to that kind of four figure stretch. It's the easier alternative to a pigeon. Again, you complete and then you do the other leg. Pigeon pose could become king pigeon pose. Great for that, the quad muscle. From your pigeon, you bring your left leg heel towards you. You hold onto that left foot and you slowly begin pulling. If you find that too hard, just lie on the side to stretch the quad out again instead. Low lunge. The right leg stepping forward. Begin to lean forward into that right leg and it will help to stretch down the front of your left leg. Hip flexor. Either have that left knee up, you could have the left knee down. Just kind of play what gives you the best feeling down the front of that left leg and hip to open up and stretch. You want to hold and then when you're ready, go to the other leg. And there you have it. Ten great stretches you could do after a run. If you have enjoyed that, or maybe check out the actual 20 minute routine I've put together on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link at the end of this video. Take a lot of time enjoying those effective stretches. There. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe if you have enjoyed. I hope to see you soon.